Favourite for Le Mans honours, the Toyota TS050 is the World Endurance Championship's only hybrid runner within the LMP1 class. With such a sophisticated powertrain, there's a number of similarities compared to Formula 1. Let's take a look at what's behind the curtain, and you compare Wex front running car with the current F1 Championship leader, the Mercedes W10. The TS050 has undergone a steady path of aerodynamic refinement since its debut in 2016, as the Toyota engineers find ways of overcoming the shackles placed upon the car by the regulations. Across the WEC season, manufacturer is allowed to develop two different aero kits. Traditionally, Le Mans gets its own to deal more adeptly with the long, flat-out Hanaudi Air straights, while the other package is saved for the remaining venues. Everything is put together to limit drag. The inlets at the front have been opened out to bring air around the inside of the wheel pods, which are a lot squarer than the first iteration of the car, to change how the high-pressure zones at the front are distributed. Mercedes and the rest of its Formula 1 counterparts have a completely different game to play with aerodynamics. Without covered wheels, much of the attention is on guiding the turbulence kicked up by the tyres away, while trying to grab a high level of downforce without the drag penalty. On the Toyota, the splitter has also been reprofiled, having been moved up from its original 2016 position two seasons ago as the FIA wanted to control downforce levels. Meanwhile, Formula 1 cars use a front wing rather than a splitter, and although it develops a similar effect, splitting high and low pressure air to create downforce, there's all of that guidance outboard to control the amount of tyre weight produced. Behind the front wheel, the Toyota's bodywork has also been broken up to clean up any turbulent flow shed from the wheels and send it through the inlet to the rear of the car, using it to boost downforce. The Mercedes has barge wards to produce that effect, which have become hugely intricate in recent years. Those pair up with the side pod undercut to create the shortest possible path for air to pass around the car. The outlet at the back of the Toyota is similar to the double diffuser concept in Formula 1, offering space for the airflow to expand and develop a greater low pressure region. These were banned in F1 at the end of 2010, so teams today have a hugely intricate diffuser geometry to claim as much downforce as possible. The Toyota's rear wing will be in a low drag position for Le Mans to squeeze every drop of straight line speed out of the car. In Formula 1, Mercedes has the DRS to use along the straights, which gives a top speed boost when within a second of the car in front to overtake. Contemporary powertrains in F1 are pushing 1000 brake horsepower, and Mercedes, like its competitors, has a 1.6 litre V6 with a single turbo. In endurance racing, the powertrain regulations are more free, an entrance can run either a large capacity naturally aspirated engine, a smaller turbocharged unit, or a full hybrid powertrain. Toyota is very proud of the 1000 PS, or 986 brake horsepower figure, that its hybrid powertrain has. Half of that is produced by a twin turbo 2.4 litre V6 engine, and the other half is produced by front and rear electric motors to complete the all wheel drive system. The ERS can store a maximum of an extra 8 megajoules per lap of energy, and the Toyota produced battery systems are capable of turning around 300 kilowatts of power once the energy is driven through the hybrid systems. Mercedes batteries can collect half of that, 4 megajoules a lap, but the energy recovery systems are a little different. Rather than two kinetic motor generator units, it has one, which adds an extra 160 horsepower, and that's helped out by an MGUH, which recovers wasted energy from the turbocharger and uses it to spin the compressor, almost eliminating any turbo lag to improve engine efficiency. Fuel flow limits in Formula 1 must not exceed 100 kilograms an hour, but in the hybrid subgroup of WEC, it falls to 80 kilograms an hour, and they're only permitted to fill up with 35.1 kilograms of fuel per stint, around 15 kilograms short of its LMP1 competition. Regardless, the Toyotas are able to go a lap longer on each stint, having not agreed to losing its refueling time advantage for Le Mans. F1 cars carry a maximum of 110 kilos of fuel, and that's without any in-race refueling, so the focus there is what the car can do on track. The minimum weight for hybrid cars in WEC has been increased by 10 kilograms, now up to 888 kilos, and that's not including the fuel on board. Formula 1 cars, however, cannot weigh less than 743 kilos, and that includes a driver on board. Overall, the two are the absolute pinnacles of their individual disciplines, 